Hi, I'm Richard Solomon with Synopsys, and I'm here to tell you about our C6 IP. Today we're showing the Synopsys prototyping system with C6 motherboard and a C6 add-in card. Along the bottom, you can see it's a motherboard here. It's got a processor. It's running a version of embedded Linux. We have an add-in card socket at the end, and our prototype system there with a C6 endpoint inside. The two of those are running at 25 gig, and you can see that on our demo system here. You can see the software indicating a 25 gig link. For those of you who are familiar with PCI Express, you'll recognize the link training and status state machine, the heart of all PCI Express and C6 implementations. And you can see that that runs the same for C6 as it does for PCI Express. Also, if you look closely at the screen, you'll see that there are two devices shown on our embedded Linux. You can see that motherboard, the root complex IP, and the endpoint itself. So one of the nice things about C6 is it builds on the PCI Express architecture. For example, to build a C6 controller out of a PCI Express controller, we start with the C6 physical layer. We build on top of that. You can see these purple blocks are existing PCI Express controller designs. We had to make some slight changes in it, the logical sub-block, the electrical layer, the rest of the purple logic stays the same as we did for a PCI Express design. And then for C6, we add in the C6 transaction layer and an application layer above that that allows the user to bring the coherency protocol into the C6 controller. So non-coherent traffic flows through the same paths that always flowed. Coherent traffic flows through these new C6 paths.